Let the church say hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. All the praise and glory to ya. When I first wrote church say, I was going through a depression. And I was kind of discouraged. I I didn't want to make music anymore. I was going through a heartbreak. I was just going, I was, my life was a mess pretty much. It was a mess. Prior to that, I had released like a lot of new songs, but they weren't getting that exposure and they weren't like getting the listeners or, and that kind of discouraged me because people would tell me, oh, you're so talented. Keep going forward. God has good things for you. But I wasn't seeing the numbers. I just got discouraged. And after a while, like it was a battle for me trying to get back into music. One day, I was listening to a beat by JT Beats. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw it and I was jamming to it and I was like, Let the church say hallelujah. And so I hit him up, I was like, yo, can I, can I, can I buy this beat? He's like, yeah, it's all yours. So I took it and then I started just recording to it and just trying, trying something. And so I started off with, let the church say hallelujah. After hearing the the melody and the organs, I'm like, yo, this sounds like a church song. Like, so off the back, I'm like, let the church say hallelujah. And it had like, it had just had like a chill vibe, and you know, it's just has like a sense of community in that beat. And so I wanted to go with it. So let the church say hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. All the praise and glory to you. Church say hallelujah. And it says it again. Basically, it's just let the church say hallelujah. Let the church praise his name. Let the church glorify his name. Going into the verse, you are so amazing. I can't deny it. You make my world go around without you trying. Bless me in so many ways to I'm defiant. I just want to praise your name. I can't be quiet. What I meant by that was he's amazing and I can't deny it. I can't deny how amazing he is because he always is faithful. God is faithful and he always comes through. He makes my world go around if I'm trying. So without him even trying, like he just amazes me. Like without even trying, like he's just he's just there. Like he just does it. Blessed me in so many ways that I'm defiant. Even though I may sometimes be disobedient to him, even though sometimes I'm not, even though I'm not perfect, he still blesses me. And that's amazing how he blesses me, even though like I may not be sensitive to his voice sometimes, he still blesses me, he still has mercy on me. Even though I may be, I may not be good to him, he's good to me. Five stones put him down, David and Goliath. Can't do it on my own, fighting on my giants. Trying to take me out my zone, trying to keep me silent. Just give him all the battles, trying to stop the violence. Five stones basically talks about the pebbles that David used when he was facing Goliath and how he defeated him with five pebbles but it was with the help of God. And in the same way, I'm trying to fight my own giants. I'm trying to fight my own battles, but I need God to help me get through it. It doesn't matter what I go through. It doesn't matter what depression I go through. It doesn't matter what trials and tribulation I go through. I, I can be hopeful and I can know that I'm gonna overcome it because I have God by my side. So that was like trying to encourage myself. Like you're gonna get through this because God is there and God is gonna be right there with you. Trying to take me out my zone, trying to keep me silent, just get him all the battles, trying to stop the violence. That just goes back to like everything that's trying to knock me down, everything that's trying to like just take me out my zone, trying to just make me stop rapping and stop spreading the gospel. Everybody's trying to take me out my zone, but I'm gonna give God my battles. I'm gonna let Him deal with it. It's out of my hands, and I'm gonna just trust Him. It doesn't matter what I go through. I'm gonna still be hopeful. I don't mean to brag or be boastful. But my God is noble, every way he's global, I got the proof, let me show you. It doesn't matter the trials I face, it doesn't matter what I go through. God is going to be right there to help me get through it. He's going to be there to pick me back up. He's going to be there to love on me and to give me that extra purse that I need. My God is global. Basically, like, my God is huge. He's huge, he's noble, he's strong. If you want the proof, I can show you it's in the Bible. Look at all the things. He's done in the Bible. Look at all the miracles that he's done in the Bible. That's your proof. He can do it all so omnipotent. He is everywhere and omniscient. Just want to be alone and get intimate with God. And just focus on the things that I haven't sent. My God is almighty. He can do it all. Whatever you ask him, he can do it as long as, it, as, long as it's his will. All things are possible through God. He is everywhere and omniscient. He's everywhere. Just want to be alone and get intimate with God and just focus on the things that I haven't sent. Because I'm going through so much, I just want to be alone with God. I don't want to be 
yeah, any distractions, near any worries. I just want to be alone, as separated from everything, and just focus on him and just have him heal my heart and do what he has to do and just focus on the things that God has for me. The bridge goes hallelujah to my savior and redeemer. Oh, hallelujah to the one true king. He's my savior, he's my redeemer. I'm gonna praise him, I'm gonna thank him. He's the one true king. Nobody else can help me get through my trials and tribulations. Only God can help me. Drinking, ex uh, smoking, none of that is gonna help me cope with whatever, whatever I'm going through. Only God can do that. Since he's the savior of the world, he can help me get through this. After releasing that song and getting the feedback from other people, like I was just so grateful because in the midst of my battles, in the midst of my storm, God was able to inspire me to create the song and it touched the hearts of others. And that's the main thing. It's time for the church to rise up and spread the gospel and praise God because he's good. It doesn't matter what we go through, he is good. Church say hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now you guys have more insight of what the meaning of church say is. If you guys like it, like, make sure you drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe because I will make more videos like this. The music video for church say should be out shortly. If it's already released, I'll put it up here. So you can go watch it, just click the icon up here. That's what go watch it. Be iconic, live iconic, God bless. Let the church say hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. All the praise and glory to ya. Church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so amazing, I can't deny. You make my world go round before you try.